Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, looking at Pentecost, the Feast of Weeks, looking particularly at the who, what, when, and where of Pentecost. This little short video is going to be about the where, alright, I'm going to tell you where we are to perform these feasts, the Feast of Weeks, where are we supposed to do it, there's a lot of people um, who want to say we are not required to do these feasts anymore because we don't have a temple anymore. But I'm going to argue that that's not the case. Now let's come up here. We're looking at the Feast of Weeks. We know that the Feast of Weeks is also tied very closely to the Feast of First Fruits, which starts there in verse 9. It's almost like they're the same feast. But we're going to come down here and look at one particular verse because we're going to make this a very short class. And that is verse 14. It says, And ye shall eat neither bread, nor parched corn, nor green ears, until the self same day ye have brought an offering unto your God. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. Okay, now, like I said, this is going to be a short class, and there's your answer right there, in all of your dwellings. Now, I humbly say, you know, just to kind of give myself a little bit of credibility in some of the stuff that I say, but... I've read the scripture and nowhere does it ever tell you that you had to perform these feasts in a temple. This right here, this is coming out of Leviticus 23. And we know that Leviticus was written while they were in the desert there for those 40 years. There was no temple. All they had then was a tent. There was no temple built. So to now say that because the temple has been destroyed, there should be no feast, that's, that to me doesn't line up considering when the feasts were instituted. There was no temple in existence at all. In fact, they barely had a tent. They just built a tent there at the end of Exodus. In one of the earlier classes, we were reading that Noah was even instructed about these feasts too. And he didn't have a tent, an ark, or any of that. So to me, these feasts are not tied to any temple or tied to any place at all. In fact, he's instructing us right here that we are to perform these feasts at all of our dwelling places. Alright. I said I was going to keep it short. And I'm actually running out of things to say about it. It's real simple and straightforward. In all of our dwelling places. So alright. I'm going to go ahead and put that up. I'm here in the bus terminal in Knoxville. I'm on my way home y'all. Y'all pray that I'll make it back to my dwelling places safely. Hermes Academy. Love y'all. Power, patience, continence, and faith. We teach virtues.